I'm Brent from Brent Speed. Check this out. I'm underneath our 2015 Mustang. We're going to install new exhaust today, but what I thought would be a great idea before we just put new exhaust on this car, which is going to be from Ford Racing, let's look and see what do we have from the factory. It's much different than prior years. So the number one thing that jumped out at me when I was underneath this car is the factory catalytic converter is integrated with the exhaust manifold. So in prior years, where you had a separation where if you wanted to remove the cats because you're doing like off-road racing, you could simply unbolt those and do that or take off a clamp and slide them off. Now it's completely welded onto the exhaust manifold, all one piece. You work your way back to what we call the resonator. So the resonator is giant. It's 22 inches long, it's heavy. So what we're gonna install today is a cat back system which will shed about 30 pounds off the car, partially from illuminating this resonator right here. Something else cool with the Ford Racing exhaust system that we're gonna put on is it includes a new X pipe to go in place of this, which is gonna be pretty awesome. You go on back, this is one piece, all the way back, solid, all the way to the back of the car. You go underneath the IRS, where prior years we would go up over the axle, but this is no longer a solid axle. So you're gonna go underneath, back to the factory mufflers and tips. So let's talk about these factory mufflers and tips and the cat back versus an axle back. So if you think back in 05 and newer, we we're always you know, wanting to put axle backs on cars because that was very easy. You would simply take off a clamp, take the old mufflers off, slide on new mufflers. That's not the case anymore because it's a complete solid cat back system all the way back. You're gonna be able to buy axle back systems for the cars, but what you're gonna have to do is literally cut the pipe and then slide the new axle back on and clamp it, which is something you can do but you're not gonna eliminate the resonator at the same time. So you're gonna spend a little bit more money for a complete cat back system, but keep in mind, you're gonna end up probably with an X pipe, depending on the brand you get, and you're gonna get all new exhaust all the way back, and your factory exhaust will unbolt all in one piece, and you can save it in case you ever wanna put it back on the car. What I wanna do right now is take a look at the exhaust we are gonna put on this. Ford Racing has a pretty huge variety of exhaust available, uh, it comes in axle backs, cat backs, touring, sport, and then you got GT 2.3, everything in between. We're gonna put on the sport, all right? The sport is 49 state legal, they call it. All their cat back systems are emission legal because we're only going from the cat back. We are going to eliminate the resonator, but we're not gonna mess with the catalytic converters. So that's what keeps us emissions legal. The sport system is the loudest system they're gonna have. This is an exhaust system made, manufactured at Borla, made for Ford Racing. And then for someone that doesn't want something quite so loud, maybe in California, and you have to meet California noise ordinance, you're gonna wanna go with the Touring Edition. Or maybe you're someone that just wants something a little bit louder than factory, you wanna eliminate the resonator, you wanna get an X pipe in there, you might like the Touring system as well. But I want it louder, I don't want it obnoxious, but I want a little bit louder, so I'm gonna go with the Sport Edition. Something else super cool about these exhaust systems are, you get a couple choices of tips. So we have cat backs, we have axle backs, we have Sport, we have Touring, and we have polish tips. We have a really awesome black chrome plated tip. Now, this car is black, it's got black wheels. I'm going black tips all the way. So let's go over here and take a look at this exhaust system before they get it on the car. One of the coolest thing about Ford Racing and Borla working together is we get some tip options. I mentioned earlier, I want black tips on this car. This is a black chrome, they call it. It's plated. And then we have our polished tip. So black car, black wheels, black tip all the way for me. Polished tip's gonna appeal to a lot of people as well, especially if you have polished wheels on the car. Something else you need to look at here is this is like a traditional looking axle back system. So again, this is what we were used to in prior years the way this new exhaust system comes. This is gonna bolt right on without any sort of modification of your old exhaust, just remove it all in one piece. This is the cat back system. If you buy the axle back, keep in mind, you're gonna be cutting off your factory mufflers, sliding these on and clamping them, which is no big deal if you're somewhat mechanically inclined. It's not a big deal for an install shop like us, but if you're in your garage at your house and you want the easiest thing to put on, cat back system is what you're gonna want. It completely bolts on, the old stuff all comes off in one piece, and then you can save it if you wanna put it back on later. But this is the Ford Racing Exhaust System. We're really excited that they work together with Borla on this. It says Borla all over the muffler, so there's no question in that. They're made in the USA, it's super high quality. These guys are wanting to get this on the car, and I wanna hear how it sounds.
All right, the exhaust install went awesome, as expected. Two thumbs up to Ford Racing and Borla. They put together a really high quality product and it looks awesome. I've already heard it, but now it's your turn to hear it. So I'm gonna take this car on a test drive, but don't forget, subscribe. That's how you're gonna stay up to date on all the new videos we're doing on this Mustang and all the other engineering vehicles and all the other projects we're always working on. But enough about that, I'm gonna take this thing on a rip.